when we don't explicitly say like who we are and what we are and we're not authentic in our lineup of how we write ourselves up in the world, whether it's a dating website or how we show up at work or, uh, you know, there's so much posturing that goes on in corporate America. It almost makes me want to vomit because we have to authentically, who cares if you lose your job? If you're being authentic, maybe you're supposed to lose that job because you're supposed to get to a job that you love that has bigger pays, bigger road bonuses, bigger promotions. But when you show up and you're playing the corporate politics, how is the job supposed to show up with the pay raises and the bonuses and the promotions that you want financially because you're not showing up authentically because you're choosing to posture yourself. Hey everybody, today we're gonna talk about how you have to show up being authentic to really create what you wanna create in your life. And this goes for your money too. Julie Murphy here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell. Why? Because I am going to help you get to a life that you love. And it is time for you to let your freak flag fly. <laughs> okay. What do I mean by being authentic? You know, I am going to start this off with a story that hit me years and years and years ago about how we tend to soft deliver who we want to be in the life because we're trying to dip our big toe in the water to actually see, did that work out? Did it not work out? Okay, now I can stick two feet in the water, two toes, and now let's do the whole foot. It's all about the fact that we want to be who we are in the world. Not one person doesn't want to be who they want to be in the world. The challenge is, is that we don't feel safe actually saying who we are so we fabricate and we don't understand how that fabrication or that twist or that soft delivery of who you are and not fully letting your freak flag fly and be exactly who you are causes the world to not show up exactly the way that you want. Let me give you an example. So years and years and years ago, I was introduced to this person and unfortunately she had a, um, a spouse that had died really young. And in that, she was young enough, she wanted to go back into the dating world. And she absolutely loved her life. And the challenge was, was that um, she didn't want people to feel sorry for her, that she had a spouse when she was in her 30s that had suddenly died. Um, they actually don't even know why or how he died. Um, and when that occurred, she decided... Well, because I had finally asked her after, you know, um, about a year, like, have you started to put yourself back out there? You're, you're young. You're, you're absolutely long, young. Like, you're still living. Like, how do we do this? You know, I helped her through all the logistical face, uh, financial stuff. And so all the T's were crossed and all the I's were dotted. But what I have found is that when we don't create happiness and joy, personally, professionally, in our family worlds, guess what? we create financial leaky containers. So to, to try to help her avoid creating a financial leaky container that stems from really your heart and soul not being fed and a lack of happiness and joy in your life, um, I said, how about, are we going back? Are we going back out in the dating world? Like what's going on? So she decided to go on one of those dating websites and she wrote up her little thing. And so my next appointment with her, like six months later, I was like, how's it going? And she's like, oh, it's going good. I'm getting the opportunity for lots of dates. And, you know, I was like, oh, that is great. And then six months later, she comes back in and I'm like, so how is that part of your life going? Like, tell me about the dates, the exciting, the not so exciting, the weird stuff. Like what's all happened? Just trying to help her like live life while we're working through all the money stuff and her financially living the life that she wants to live. And she goes, well, it's gotten a little strange. And I was like, strange? Talk to me about strange. And this is how when we don't show, when we don't put ourselves out there of exactly who we are, then all of a sudden you're getting something that you didn't expect. So I go, well, she goes, I just keep thinking that maybe it's something that I wrote up in my thing. I go, well, let me see. You know, I, I read things for a living. I read people for a living. Let me see what you're putting out into the world. Let me see if what I think. And so she gave me her write up that she put her profile that she put out there on the dating websites. And there was one line in there that said, 
I um, had some changes in life and I'm willing to try new things. And I said, what new things are you willing to try? And she goes, well, see, I think that might be the line. And I said, why do you mean? She goes, she kept getting all of these couples that wanted to have a threesome with her. Those were the people who were replying to her on her website. Now, I tell you this story because when we don't explicitly say like who we are and what we are and we're not authentic in our lineup of how we write ourselves up in the world, whether it's a dating website or how we show up at work or, you know, there's so much posturing that goes on in corporate America. It almost makes me want to vomit because we have to authentically, who cares if you lose your job? If you're being authentic, maybe you're supposed to lose that job because you're supposed to get to a job that you love that has bigger pays, bigger road bonuses, bigger promotions. But when you show up and you're playing the corporate politics, how is the job supposed to show up with the pay raises and the bonuses and the promotions that you want financially? Because you're not showing up authentically because you're choosing to posture yourself, right? This is also true in the personal relationships with this woman that I met on a dating website. And, and so when we authentic, she goes, well, I just didn't want people to, to feel sorry for me because I lost my husband in my thirties. And it's like, okay, well, you don't have to put out there that, why don't you just, what, what is it? What are the new things that you are actually wanting to try? Because when you put the order into the universe or you say your prayers, you know, um, and you put it out there, well, that's, what's going to come back. Cause remember we live in a hologram. Whatever you put out there in what you think, speak, and feel actually becomes your reality. So she was getting things coming at her going, I don't want to do that. Oh, my God. So what it is is she tried to create a safe container for herself by just kind of putting something out there. And then she created one of the most unsafe containers for her possible. And it's like, oh, we don't realize how not being authentic and not letting our freak flag fly and being exactly who we are actually creates a world that we don't want. And then we wonder why it is that we're stuck in these suffering patterns. And on a financial front, that's how we then wind up dating people who are financially screwed up when we financially have done our work and put our time in and we've created a life for ourselves. This is how we wind up with children who you can't get out of your basement and they aren't launching and living their own life because you've held the financial container for them the whole time and you've not let them launch themselves because you're trying to protect and control because of your fear of what might happen with your children. Like, do we understand how, when we don't show up authentically in life, how life doesn't show up in the package that we want and it shows up in suffering packages? And so instead of getting more frustrated and creating more resistance in our bodies and creating a hijacked nervous system, which causes us to contract, it's time to be you. It's time for you to let your freak flag fly and write it down exactly how you want to plug into the world. And I know it might be a little scary, but yet a little exciting at the same time. And then financially, all the money will show up in the place because remember, money is the result of how you're showing up in your life because money is energy. And the question is, is what do you want to energize in the world? Don't forget, go to juliemurphy.com and I'm going to help you get to a life that you love. I have group coaching. I start a new group every quarter. And um, by all means, if you want to um, get my book, awakenyourwealthbook.com, just go there and uh, you get it from, just have to pay for your shipping. Take care, everybody. Bye.